A few months ago, I packed up my bags and left my home in Nigeria, where I had lived all my life, to live in Portugal, a country I had never been to and knew nobody. I'm going to Europe. Lagos was where I had grown up and where my friends, family and almost everybody I knew lived. It's also where I built my film career and grew this amazing community. So why on earth did I do this? I've always been interested in seeing the world. I can remember vividly when I was younger, I imagined a life where I would travel the world for a living. Sadly, this platform didn't exist then, so I chalked it up as wishful thinking and never imagined it was gonna be possible. My journey started with me traveling across Nigeria, which is my home country, to exploring Africa and now visiting Europe for the first time. To give some context, I've been living in Lagos for most of my life and only really started traveling three years ago. And within those past three years, I've been able to see a large part of my continent. Europe was never really on my list of places to see because I believed, one, getting a Schengen visa with a Nigerian passport was going to be super difficult. Two, it was new territory and as much as I've heard about it, I was kind of afraid of what to expect. Lastly, my audience is predominantly African, so would they want me to explore somewhere else? This last point locked me in an infinite loop that made me believe that I shouldn't step outside Africa to see more of the world so I never really bothered to apply for a visa and every time an opportunity came up I always had an excuse about why I should not go. This line of thought led to an internal battle with myself for most of 2022 and to be honest I have been really struggling to make videos. So yeah um starting off so wait sorry on this side and on this side uh okay let's let's roll that the joy and enthusiasm I once failed to explore when I started out was no longer there and it was replaced by just continually making the same content over and over and over again. Just because, well, that was all I believe I knew how to do. I think as humans, we sometimes lock ourselves up in imaginary prisons by the parameters we set up for ourselves. We feel we shouldn't draw outside the lines or venture further because that seems very uncomfortable or because we are scared of what other people might think. As my videos were being celebrated by you guys outside, I was fighting an internal battle inside, asking myself, what next? To the world, I was living an incredible life, visiting new countries every other month and documenting amazing experiences. So why then was I feeling so lost? Eventually, I got to my breaking point and decided, fuck it. I needed to just get back on the road and leave this place I called home and whatever happened, I was going to welcome the experience. This process eventually led me to applying for a visa at the embassy in Lagos. Yeah, my passport finally came in. And guess what? I got the visa. I got the real visa. <laughs> Something I had told myself over the years that was going to be impossible eventually came through in one week. I'm going to Europe. The next day I got on the first flight to Italy. This led me to traveling across Europe, visiting Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, and finally ended up in Lisbon, Portugal. Yes! The first thing I noticed about Portugal was how slow and relaxed people are here. It's like nobody is in a rush for anything and everybody takes their time, which is really different from Lagos, Nigeria, where it seems like everybody is always in a rush for something. This is happening <coughs> now here in Lisbon, experiencing the beautiful weather. And it's so nice here, man. I think in all the European countries, Portugal has one of the best weathers out there. If you go to Germany now, it's probably going to be very cold. <laughs> Most trips I had done this year involved me traveling to a place with some form of storyline. You know, I usually have an idea of what I want to film when I get there. During this trip, I was more interested in immersing myself in the moment and just being here now. No plan whatsoever of what next. One of the most important parts of traveling for me are usually the people I meet along the way. My interactions and experiences with different people in the country greatly influence my perception of what the place was going to be like. It also makes me experience the country more deeply. I reached out to a fellow travel YouTuber whose work I admire and he was down to meet up. So guys, I'm meeting up with a friend I actually met online. His name is Bernardo and he's from Portugal. Hello! Up, <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. 
I think across all my five countries I visited in Europe, I would say the people in Portugal are actually the friendliest. They have a way of making you feel really at home like you are part of the community as compared to other European countries i had been to like Germany. So this is like the most famous spot to get this sort of pastry. Guys, the line to get this is very long, so it better be worth it. It has to be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> okay. The first food item it gave me to try out was a Portuguese cake called Pastel de Nata. It's what everybody was lining up for and we were able to finally get ours. And to get the full experience, we need to dust it down with some cinnamon. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Nice. I saw people are lining up. Mm. Portugal has a very interesting history with Africa, which I would like to mention. They were the first Europeans to set sail to Nigeria and they were involved in trading spices, spirits, and many other items, including people. They also colonized many countries in Africa which speak Portuguese today. I did a video where I asked a lot of Europeans to mention an African country and from what I saw, a lot of people mentioned countries that were colonized by Portugal. Angola, Mozambique. During the 15th and 16th centuries, Portugal became a leading European power in terms of economic, political and cultural influence. There's even a city called Lagos in Portugal which I didn't get a chance to visit and that was where Lagos, the main business hub of Nigeria, was named after. Since the majority of my audience are Africans, I felt there might be a bittersweet feeling watching this and feeling some type of way about Portugal due to the slave history. This video isn't meant to be a history lesson, it's meant to be about my experience in Portugal. So let's get back on track. Lisbon has really narrow streets and it's also very hilly. Most times I wonder how most cars are able to drive through the impossible gaps. We arrived at an abandoned building which used to be one of the best restaurants but was shut down some years back. I'm looking at all the artworks on the wall. Portugal has a very vibrant art scene with some of the most incredible artworks I've ever seen. Being here just reminded me of how fleeting moments are in life and why we need to cherish them while we have them because things will eventually change. Our farmer. This is the oldest neighborhood of Lisbon, spreading on the slope between the South George Castle and the Tagus River. It's also where I stayed while I was here, as it's close to almost everything restaurants, bars, docks, and the train station. Did I mention that almost everything in Lisbon is less than 30 minutes away? It was a different feeling as somebody who came from a place where you had to travel long hours to get to everything. One of the great things about Portugal is also the lower cost of living. It's much cheaper to live here than across most countries in Europe, which is why there has been an influx of people over the years, which has led to the rent skyrocketing. A one-bedroom apartment here used to cost around 700 euros per month, but now in Lisbon it costs around 1,400, which is almost double the price. I guess I'm not the only one who loves the slow life in Porto. in Lisbon, we are having breakfast and I'm here with my G. Some sweet lemonade. I know my guy from Nigeria, you know, it's just, Lagos. It's just here, it's in Lagos, Nigeria. He's trying to get fuel here. Have you got some fuel now? Yeah. Thank you. We went to a spot that had a monument called the Monument of Discoveries. Currently behind me is this big monument that basically talks about their journey and their voyage, how they traveled across the world, capturing different countries and territories. As an African, when I say discoveries, you should know what I mean. The cool part though was that this was one of the best spots to watch the sunset and it was a perfect end to an amazing day. One thing traveling to Europe has taught me about myself is that I really find joy in the simple things of life, like taking a walk down the street. So calm and quiet. I'm just taking a morning walk, kind of like around town. Or having a morning coffee, or just watching the sunset and being in the moment. 
For somebody who lives in Lagos, which is the most popular city in Africa, it's so easy to get lost in the chase of money and what's next that we forget to be present. What does this all really mean? Is this even a travel vlog anymore? I think traveling to Portugal has finally given me a reason to slow down and live in the present. Not the past, not the future, but the present. The way of life here is so slow that you easily get immersed into it and just start living. I think something very special about the Portuguese people yeah. is that we really know how to enjoy all the little moments. Hmm. I feel like most of the world nowadays are always looking after the next thing. Yeah. And they don't really stop to enjoy the moment or to enjoy all they have conquered so far. They're always after the next thing. Yeah. And I feel like Portuguese people in general, of course, they know how to appreciate everything they have done so far. Myself, I do feel very proud of everything I've done so far. Yeah. And I'm not always like, okay, what's the next what's thing the next to do? Thing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's something very special about the Portuguese culture. One of my favorite quotes about life is from the Portuguese poet Fernando Pessoa. I always live in the present. The future, I can't know. The past, I no longer have. Portugal is a place that forces you to slow down and just be in the moment. It's currently not a super rich country, but it makes up for it in its calmer way of life. I believe I'm at a stage in my life where after spending so much of my 20s making videos, I'm walking into a new chapter where I want to create things I love and I'm passionate about. I feel like the next stage for me is to tell stories that I personally connect with and that makes me happy while being in the moment. I also want to not overthink things anymore, which is me kind of getting out of my own way. Before I started out on this trip, I wasn't really in the best place mentally. I was dealing with a lot of questions and anxiety about what the next step was. It's a moment like this that I remember one of my favorite words from Steve Jobs where he says, You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. This is going to be a whole new and refined chapter in our relationship and I'm really thankful for this amazing community that we have on here. We started out at zero four plus years ago and we currently are over 500,000 in this amazing community. Thank you guys. I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned this year is that life moves pretty fast. But it can also be pretty slow at times and that if we don't tune in and take a second to focus on the things that ground us and take a moment to be with ourselves we we'll miss out on the most important part of it that being said hope you guys enjoy this video i wish you all a merry christmas and a happy new year see you guys on the next one peace